Distance wedges, three swing lengths, half, three quarter, and full, and then two different setups for a cut shot and a draw shot. We don't hit a half draw, only half cuts. So that ends up giving us five shots. So let's start with the half cut. So Lori set up here in the half cut setup. You're going to see that this setup is exactly the same setup as the long blast bunker. So here she is in the long blast bunker. She's got a little bit wider stance, but this setup is the same. She's got the club face slightly open. She has the ball pretty much in the middle of her stance. So it really is the same shot as the long blast bunker. And what makes it a half shot is her left arm is going to end up being about parallel to the ground. She probably could have gone a little bit more and been more what we'd call this 9 o'clock position. But the key is you want to fly this a little more than half the distance of your full shot. So you take the club back about to the left arm parallel to the ground. It's, you're making your golf swing, so you can certainly see an impact. She has shifted her weight. Her handle is forward. She's hitting down, and her arms and hands are going to rotate as she goes through. So the half shot is a very important shot. I hit my sandwich 100 yards, and I hit my half cut 55 yards. When we look at this from down the line, and look at this shot down the line, you're going to see that it is, once again, the same setup as the long blast bunker. So if we look at the long blast bunker, you will see here she is, here Lori is on the right, long blast bunker. We have all the same rods, the yellow rod going to where we want the ball to go, the red rod at 20 yards, approximately 5 feet left, and the black rod representing a slightly open club face. So that's what the rods mean. Notice Lori's backswing is going to be vertical. This backswing on the half cut is vertical. So you can see that the swing is pretty much the same. And the only difference here is she's going to go shorter back. She's going to go to that left arm parallel to the ground with this half cut shot. She even goes a little past that, which is fine. And now as she comes down, notice the club head right on plane, right on the red line. And she's going to swing down and through on that red line. Watch your club track right on the red line going through. Arms and hands rotate just like in the golf swing. So that is a half cut. And really, you really want this shot because it's the same thing you're going to do on the long blast bunker. So the next shot is the three-quarter, and I say knockdown because it really is a knockdown shot. On this three-quarter shot, we do want the ball back of center. So you can certainly see Lori has this ball back of center. You see the rods on the ground, so she's got this open stance, so she's going for a three-quarter cut with this shot. If she squared her stance up, and we'll go over that in a second here, about the cut setup stance and the and the draw stance. But it's really a knockdown shot, and you're going to see she's not quite full with his backswing. So all three quarter means is something short of your full swing, and then go ahead and hit it. On the three quarter and on the half shot, we choke up on the club a little bit. That will take some distance off. So you can see as she comes through, arms and hands rotate, just like in her golf swing. So it's simply choking up a little bit, which you can see there she's not that choked up in her grip here. But it's definitely, you want to have more of a knockdown feeling on these shots. Here I am hitting a knockdown shot. I'll get rid of some of these lines. But you're going to see that, look where the ball position is for me. You're going to see that as I come in, that's a little short of full. You're going to see... I'm going to have my weight forward as I hit this ball, hitting down, and the arms and hands are going to rotate as I go through. You really want that handle forward. This shot is a lower trajectory shot, and that's why we use the words 
knocked down. So as you look at Lori from down the line, because she has this slightly open stance and she's lined up with the red rods, that means she's going for this cut shot. See the club going back. We've got the club on plane, a little under the plane coming into the ball like she does in her normal golf swing. And there's the club rotating as she goes through. So let's go a little bit over what this three-quarter or what these stances mean. So here's Lori set up with her toe line pretty much parallel with the red rods on the ground. Notice the yellow rods representing a slightly open stance. So this is very minimal what she's going to do to change her setup. And because you're only going to probably hit a, a cut shot four yards shorter than a draw shot, all you're adding is about a degree aloft to the club head at dress. So watch Lori. Her feet are going to move back a little bit as she opens her stance. So there she is moving her left foot and her right foot. You can see she's opened her stance a little bit more and the ball ended up going a hair more forward in her stance. So all she's done is change it about that much. It's very minimal. But in that change, if we watch what happens to the club face, you'll see she added a little bit of loft. See, look where she is there. And then when she changes her setup, she gets to where that handle now is ever so slightly back, maybe adding one degree of loft to the club. The swing and everything is the same, but that's simply what she's doing is uh, just, you know, making that change. Here I am, you can see I'm set up for a, a draw shot here, and on my draws I do have a little bit of an open stance, but you'll notice a little bit of a change in the setup just to hit a cut shot. So it's very minor. All we're doing is trying to take four yards off of every shot. If this is a little too complicated for you, just work on setting up with a little open stance and the ball slightly more forward to hit a little shorter. It's that simple. So here I am hitting a three-quarter draw and as I said I do set up with these sand wedges even on the draw with a slightly open stance. If I was going to hit a little cut shot, I would just simply get a little bit more open with the stance. A lot of good players set up with their feet a little open on their shorter shots, even on the draw swings. So you can see the club going back. Here's the club coming in. It's right on plane coming in the ball. There it is right through my fist on the plane line. And there I am hitting it. And the club face turning over as I extend through with my arms and hands. So when you're talking about distance wedges, you're really talking about with the half cut, it's a more vertical swing plane, same setup as the long glass bunker shot. And then the three quarter shot is going to be with the ball more back in the stance. We're definitely going to have the ball more back. And we're trapping it and we're knocking it down. We're hitting it lower. So if you look at my distances with a full draw with my 55 degree sand wedge, I hit my full draw 100. If I open my stance slightly and choke up, I hit it 95 full cut. That three quarter knockdown draw is 90, three quarter cut, take a few yards off 86, and my half cut goes 55. When I throw my lob wedge into the chemistry of this, 85 yards is a full draw, 82 a full cut, 78 three quarter draw, 73 three quarter cut, half cut, 45. But notice this area right here. Notice from this 86, notice this whole area here and look at how there's pretty much a number for that whole area there. For, so for in that 27 yard area, that's where I want to lay a ball up if I'm playing a par 5. And the middle of that area ends up being about this 85 or full draw lob wedge. So if I lay it up there, I'm good. If I hit a little further and get a little closer to the green, I'm still in this box. 
if I miss hit my layup, you know, hopefully I don't miss hit it more than 15 yards. I'm still within that full draw setup. And that's what you want to figure out. You want to come up with that algorithm. Really, the shots you just need to work on are simply this three-quarter draw and this half cut. Those are the two templates that you have to get. And once you get those, these, these swings should feel the same with both your lob wedge and your regular wedge. And th these two will feel the same thing. You should just learn that one shot and then you can work on hitting those numbers. And on these half cut shots, you just really work on trying to get that length and tempo of your swing correct. Because that's probably the toughest one is this half cut. It, a lot of amateurs that I work with, it's notorious. They take the club too far back for the distance they want to hit the ball, and they decel. Same thing they do with their putter. So you have to learn how to control the distance of this back swing so that you can control the distance that you hit it. If you watch Lori on this half shot, you're going to see, look at the length of her swing, and notice the tempo of the swing coming through. This is in slow motion, but she's certainly accelerating as she goes through. If we watch your face on hitting a three-quarter shot, you're going to see a much faster tempo swing, even though it's in slow motion, and it's longer. So it's a longer swing, and it's faster. That's going to help her hit the ball further. I hope this distance module is helping you with your game. And for more information, please visit LarryRinker.com.